Hello, my name is Bruce Nash and I run a company called Nash Information Services. We're an analytical company. We uh, do projections uh, for the film industry, predicting how much movies are going to make. And like I think many people who are in the prediction business, um, I get a little bit obsessed every four years by the American presidential election. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to do some analysis of the election, not so much to predict who's going to win and lose, but to predict when we're going to know. Uh, and as anybody who's watched election coverage will know, uh, the news networks through the evening make calls of who they believe are going to win particular states based on a combination of exit polls and um, the vote counts in each state. And because we have data on quite a lot of uh, uh, states and uh, we can see how the networks vary, uh, how long it takes them to call, uh, we can build a model which projects, based on the margin between the two candidates in each state, how long it'll take uh, the network, specifically CNN, to call the race. So something I did in uh, 2008, uh, ran a projection which I put online, um, and the model really worked quite well. We uh, projected that uh, Barack Obama would be called uh, the winner at uh, 8 p.m. when the polls closed uh, in uh, in the West Coast, and uh, that proved to be the case. We actually got it uh, basically spot on um, with the projection. Now, I would say 2008 is a little bit more of a simple case, and 2012, I think, is going to be a little bit more of a challenge for the model, but we'll see more of that in the next few minutes. First of all, a very quick look at how the model works. So what I've done is taken... Uh, the results uh, from uh, elections in 2004-2008 um, made a note of when CNN called the results in each state, plotted that against the margin, and we can find uh, a line of best fit through that um, and create a formula which gives us a reasonable level of confidence in when particular states are going to be called. So there's still some variation, um, and uh, you know, so this is not completely precise but should give us a, a good rule of thumb of, uh, of what time states were going to be called. Um, in order to do that we need two further pieces of information. First of all we need to know what the margin is going to be in each state uh, and for that I've used uh, Nate Silver's 538 blog at the New York Times. Um, and I should mention that, that really there are several different um, uh, services that are that are doing these kind of projections and it actually really doesn't make a huge amount of difference which one uh, you choose for doing this projection. Um, they, they come within a few percentage points of, of each other in each state and that isn't enough to really throw out uh, the projection by, by a huge amount. The final piece of information we need is uh, uh, the closing times in each state. For that I used a website called the Green Papers. Great website, ton of information. And then we put it all onto a map, and this is the map from uh, PBS's website, actually, a very nice electoral college map that they have. So, without further ado, here it is, election night 2012. 6 p.m., first set of polls close in Kentucky and Indiana. Um, there's some speculation that Kentucky may be called at 6 p.m., um, but there's actually, I believe, some polling still going on in the western part of the state, and I think it's perhaps a little bit more likely that we'll get a call at 7 p.m. on Kentucky. Uh, we'll also get a call uh, at Vermont at the same time, um, which we call for Barack Obama. Uh, Kentucky called for Mitt Romney. Uh, and at this point of the evening, there are four states that are too close to call, and that's Indiana, Virginia, South Carolina, and Georgia. They're all shown in gold on the map here. At 7.30, polls close in Ohio and North Carolina, which are too close to call, unsurprisingly, and West Virginia, which is called immediately for Mitt Romney. One of the first really big moments of the night is uh, 8 p.m. Lots of states close their uh, polls at that time. Illinois is called for Barack Obama, along with several states in the Northeast. And the South, uh, several states are called for Mitt Romney. Um, one state that isn't called at this uh, point in time is Florida, uh, still too close to call at this stage. Missouri, also too close to call. But a couple of states in the Northeast, which I would just highlight, are uh, still too close to call. Connecticut and New Jersey, and indeed Maine also, still too close to call. And these are states that Barack Obama 
won quite comfortably in 2008, look as though they're going to be a little closer in 2012. And this is the first sign that we're going to have something of a long night here, uh, that we're still going to be waiting for results from states that uh, traditionally you might expect to be uh, called quite quickly. At 8.15 we do get a call and that's uh, Indiana which uh, goes to Mitt Romney. It's a big result for him. Indiana uh, went for Barack Obama in 2008, so this is the first state to flip and actually moves Mitt Romney into the lead in the Electoral College. And he builds on that lead a little bit at uh, 827 when South Carolina is called as well. That was a state that took a long time to call in 2008, so good news for Romney that that has gone for him already. At 8.30, uh, there's uh, polls closing in Arkansas, which is called immediately for Mitt Romney. And at 9 p.m., there's a whole big batch of states um, close their polls. Um, two big ones, uh, Texas is called immediately for Mitt Romney, and New York is called immediately for Barack Obama. And at this point, though, we have just a ton of states where uh, the polls are too close um, for uh, CNN or any of the other networks most likely for making a call, including uh, some in the uh, in the West. You have uh, New Mexico and Colorado and Arizona, too close to call. Uh, you have uh, in the South, you have Florida and Georgia, still, to, still too close to call. And the key states um, that uh, everyone uh, talks about uh, a great deal. Um, so, uh, so states like uh, Ohio, M Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, all still to too close to call. In fact, at this stage of the evening, and you know this is 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we have 212 Electoral College votes have been allotted to the candidates, and 211 Electoral College votes are still too close to call. 9.23, we get a little bit of movement. Barack Obama is called as the winner in Maine. And at 9.26, Mitt Romney is called as the winner in Georgia. 9.40, Barack Obama wins Connecticut. And at 10 o'clock, we get another batch of states uh, are all uh, called as uh, the polls close. Um, Utah, no great surprise there, is called for Mitt Romney as the polls close. Uh, Kansas, also, also called, as is South Dakota. Um, but a couple more states uh, join the two close to call list. That's Montana and Nevada. At 10.06 p.m., uh, Barack Obama is called the winner in New Jersey. Now, I should note that the model doesn't make any projection about what may have happened as a result of Hurricane Sandy. So it's possible that we may have some issues with voting or issues with vote counting uh, in um, states like New Jersey and New York, possibly also Pennsylvania. Uh, and that may affect when uh, those particular races are called. At 10.59 p.m., Missouri is called for Mitt Romney. Uh, big win for him. That was the very last state to be called in 2008, so the fact that it's gone for Romney really quite early in the evening is uh, very good news for him. And just almost seconds later than that, um, the polls close in the West. California and Hawaii called for Barack Obama, Idaho and North Dakota called for Mitt Romney. Uh, and it's worth noting that this is the moment in 2008 that Barack Obama was declared the winner by the networks. Uh, this year, it looks as though he actually may well be behind in the Electoral College at this point in the evening. We have him down 167 to 174. Um, the winner in the election so far, however, is too close to call, uh, commanding a rather impressive 194 Electoral College votes, and particularly note that amongst them is Washington and Oregon, two states that Barack Obama is heavily favored uh, to win, but uh, hasn't got enough of a margin, according to the polls, um, to be able to uh, be called immediately by the networks. At 11.29 p.m. Eastern, Michigan is called for Barack Obama. Big win for him. 11.44, uh, New Mexico is called again for Barack Obama. Uh, and then at midnight Eastern time, uh, Alaska polls close and that's called immediately for Mitt Romney. And just a 11 minutes later, uh, he picks up Arizona as well. That is called for him. And at this point in the evening, interestingly, we have a tie in the Electoral College. Barack Obama 
and Mitt Romney both have 188 Electoral College votes. 62, 162, I should say, are still too close to call, and that's 17 states right now too close to call. A big one is called at 12.21 a.m., and that is Pennsylvania, called for Barack Obama. We actually get a little bit of a flurry uh, this time. 12.28 a.m., Montana is called for Mitt Romney. 12.29 a.m., Minnesota is called for Barack Obama. And 12.40 a.m., Obama is called as the winner in Washington state. Now, Obama supporters might, at this, at this point in the evening, be beginning to feel a little bit better about how things are going. He's, he's up to 230 Electoral College votes. Uh, he'll probably be somewhat ahead in the um, count in uh, Oregon at this stage, um, heavily favored to win there. Um, and as you've seen, a uh, number of states have just been called for him. So uh, anybody who's uh, uh, supporting Obama at this point may be uh, beginning to put some champagne on ice. I will warn you, this is not a good time to put champagne on ice if you're supporting Barack Obama, because it actually turns out, according to the model, that um, we don't get any more calls for another hour, um, over an hour, in fact. Um, in fact, it's nearly 2 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time, before another state is called. And that state is North Carolina, which is, in fact, called for Mitt Romney. So we're now 2 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. We still have quite a few states. There's actually nine of them um, too close to call. Uh, counts continue. At 2 a.m., actually 2.04 a.m., uh, we start another flurry of results. Wisconsin is called for Barack Obama. Oregon is called for Barack Obama. And New Hampshire is called 2.14 a.m. for Barack Obama again. Now we're down to six remaining states, and that's uh, Nevada, Colorado, Iowa, Ohio, Virginia, and Florida. Uh, and as you can see, 2 o'clock in the morning, um, all of these states um, are actually very, very close, um, within a few percentage points according to the current projections. Uh, and in the final days of the race, you know, there may be some swings to uh, towards Mitt Romney, there may be some swings towards Barack Obama. Each campaign will have its get-out-the-vote operation. Um, there'll be, you know, more bad weather in one part of the country or another. A lot of things are going to affect um, what uh, actually happens on the day, and these, I think, are the six really key states um, for the election. The model projects that at 2.19 a.m., Ohio is called for Barack Obama, uh, and that actually takes him, believe it or not, to 269 Electoral College votes. Now, I would note, um, as I've said, you know, things are very, very close in these states, uh, and if there's any um, uh, concerns about um, the, the the poll counts in Ohio, if there are a lot of absentee ballots, a lot of provisional ballots piled up, the networks may decide that they can't call Ohio uh, even at this late hour of the night. Even if they do, as I note, uh, Barack Obama at this point only has 269 votes. He only needs one more to win the election. Five states are still too close to call. And the long wait begins. Um, the model projects that there won't be another call um, during that hour, and indeed it won't be until almost 4 a.m. Eastern Time, according to the model that we get our next state call, which is Nevada for Barack Obama, and that, uh, if the model is to be believed, will be the state that will carry him over the, the finish line. Um, it'll be about 1 o'clock in the morning uh, here in California. It'll be uh, about 4 o'clock in the morning uh, on the East Coast, and... Um, I think there's a there's a psychological question here, which is if the networks um, are sat there at 4 a.m. Eastern time, and we have these four or five states that are still too close to call, uh, and a call like this would determine the election, the question is, would they actually make the call? Uh, in, in particular, if you look at Nevada and Iowa, which are the two states that the par current polls say Obama is just slightly more favorable to win compared to the others. Um, the difference in, in the vote may be only 20 or 30,000 votes. And certainly if there are provisional ballots, if there are absentee ballots that have not yet been counted, 
the networks may just decide, you know, even though it looks as though there's a 99% chance, perhaps, that Obama is going to win a particular state, they might be reluctant to make that call, given that it's so late in the night and the election is so close. So with that big caveat, um, the model says that we'll get a result around about 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time, 1 a.m. Pacific, uh, with a narrow win for Barack Obama. The other, the other four states, Iowa, as I mentioned, um, is has, there's a little bit more of a, uh, a lead for Obama there, and that could be called very similar time, in fact, to Nevada. The other three, Colorado, Virginia, and Florida, are all extremely close right now. Uh, and um, so th those last three probably will know the results sometime on, on Wednesday, the day after the election. Um, and if Nevada and Iowa um, have both gone for Barack Obama, then, then that perhaps won't be uh, significant. If Nevada or Iowa uh, go for um, Mitt Romney, and certainly if Ohio goes for Mitt Romney, then I think we're into a um, very, very close race and recounts and, you know, all that stuff that anybody who remembers the 2000 election doesn't need to be reminded of. But eventually, according to the projection at least, uh, Obama comes out uh, winning 303 to 235, which I think is actually slightly generous. I would say that Colorado, uh, Virginia, and Florida are probably all really a flips of a coin right now, and the, the model says that uh, Obama will win two of them and, and Romney uh, the third. Um, I think a any one of them could turn out uh, the other way. So that's my projection. Uh, my recommendation is don't make plans to go to bed early on election night. Um, but uh, I would love your feedback from this. I'll, I'll put up uh, the spreadsheets that I use for the model on my blog, uh, which is the crunch at the numbers. That's the dash, the hyphen numbers.com slash the hyphen crunch. Uh, and uh, my email address, and I'd love feedback, is bruce.nash at the numbers.com, again with a hyphen between the and numbers. So thank you very much.